Good morning. Welcome to Audrey's Southern Cooking. How are you doing today? Well, today's a little chilly. It's not cold, but it's chilly, so it's springtime's a coming. <laughs> I wanted to show you a little something real quick. It's not perfect, but I did make this. So it says, speak Southern to me. So it's got kind of a little backwards, but it says, uh, high on the hog, bless your heart, and it has goodness gracious, which I say a lot, and doohickey, I say that at least once every day, you know, just some doohickey, or <laughs> whatever that doohickey is, <laughs> well, today, I'm sorry, I just had to start the day off with a, with a little laugh. So, so today we are gonna make something. It's not my recipe. I'm gonna put that out there right now. It is a Justin Wilson recipe. If y'all do not know who Justin Wilson is, go to YouTube, look him up. He is an old school Cajun cook. Now he was way, he was on TV back when Julia Childs was on TV. Before there was a cooking channel. Love me some Justin Wilson. He is a Cajun through and through, but I am using his recipe uh, for gumbo. So we're gonna make a chicken sausage gumbo. So let's lower the camera down and see what we've got to have. So we have andouille sausage, and I just got it sliced, kind of like a pepperoni. Two to three pounds of chicken, I just cut it up. It's just like legs and thighs is all I have. I have olive oil and flowers. That's our roux. We're gonna add some water to that. We have onions and garlic. So we're gonna make a roux. We'll add our onions and our garlic to that. Let that cook a minute. Then we'll add our sausage and our chicken. Then we're gonna have some Worcestershire sauce. So I already have that measured out. And I don't have Saturn wine, is what the recipe calls for, but it does say it, it uses sweet wine. So I just got some white Ziffindel. So we are gonna put that in there. All right, I'm gonna move to the stove and I will see you there. Okay, we are at the stove. I just turned my eye on, on to it like a medium high, just so I can heat up my three fourths cup of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, just use uh, canola oil or vegetable oil, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is just let this heat just a minute. Then we're gonna add our flour, which is one and a half cups of flour. And we're gonna cook this low and slow. As Justin Wilson would say, it's gotta be like a chocolate, chocolate color. So we've gotta, I don't know if we're gonna get it that dark, but we're gonna try. We're gonna get this in. You're saying three-fourths of oil is a lot. And you're right, it is. We also have a lot of flour. <laughs> so we're just going to stir this and brown it. And I'll tell you what, we are going to come back in just a few minutes and check on this. Just quickly checking up on it. It's starting to get a pretty brown. But it's still got to get darker. Now, I did fail to mention at the beginning of this video, this is gonna take quite a while to get all this cooked. Um, by the time you get your, your roux done, it doesn't take as long to get the rest of it going. But you can't walk away from your roux because you can't let it burn, because it will burn. So we just, what I'm doing is just stirring it and then just kind of letting it melt back down a little bit, get over the pot, give it a minute, it, and then stir it again. That way it doesn't stick on the bottom and it doesn't burn. And that way it's getting that darker, darker and darker color if you could see it. So after this, we get everything together. It's gonna take several hours for it to actually cook, cook. And he does recommend that you wait till the next day to eat it, but it does just like spaghetti. You know, spaghetti to me, 
I love it. Fresh, hot, fresh, hot cook. I know I like it the next day even better. Okay. So to me, this looks really good. I'm not going to get it too close because it's dripping, as you see. But you see it the color. So what I'm going to do, just start adding my ingredients. Because as Justin Wilson says, cook it until you think it's going to burn. Now, I'm not going to even attempt to do a Cajun accent because y'all know. I just, I'm not going to do that. I just, <laughs> I, would not, I would embarrass myself. All right, so I've got... One and a half cups of chopped onions. Now, I, did, I left them a little chunky. You know, they're not like uh, super chunky, but they're not, they're not thick, thin either. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix this in. Woo! Lord, you can just smell this and the steam all in my face. We're gonna cook this just a minute. Let these onions kind of, uh, Get a little translucent because it's adding a little bit of moisture to this roux so that should help it from burning then we're going to come back and add garlic and whew, these onions are strong we're going to add our garlic and our water then okay here we are back so i've got one teaspoon maybe a little bit more y'all know i like my garlic so what i'm going to do is just stir this how dark that is look how pretty because you know once that onion got in there it kind of gave it some moisture so I didn't have to worry too much about it burning so I'm trying to be careful I got four cups of water now it's gonna steam so I might have turned the vent on ready now I'm taking a whisk and mixing all of that flour in this water. Can't have it lumpy. Can't have it lumpy. All right, let me get this done and we'll be right back. All right. I just wanna make sure I had all my lumps out. All only thing that's sticking in my whisk is my onions and garlic, mostly onions. All right, now we have that. I'm adding, I put three tablespoons of Worcestershire, it calls for two and a half, but I added three. I probably should have went with that <laughs> on my garlic. I might add a little garlic later. I'm just gonna whisk this in. And then I have two cups of andouille sausage. Now look, it's thickening up. We're gonna add some more here in a minute. That is thickening up. So we're going to add our sausage. I'm going to switch back to my spoon because that's getting thick and then my sausage is wanting to stick. Oh, look at that. That looks like a good gravy, doesn't it? Basically what roux is, except it's darker. Okay. Now you can add your hot sauce. I'm not a hot sauce person. My suggestion would be if you, like my boyfriend likes really like ghost pepper hot. I don't really care for hot. Um, your household may be similar. My suggestion would be just add some hot sauce to your bowl. That way you can temper it how you want it. That's just my opinion. All right, so we have the andouille in here. We're gonna add our chicken. So we're just gonna put the chicken in there whole, just like this with bones. So I'm just gonna cover this up now. We're gonna add one last ingredient. And then this gets to cook. We're gonna add our, whoops, that it backward, our white wine. If you can find Saturn wine, then you just go right on. It's supposed to be four cups. I don't know if a bottle holds four cups. I think he just likes drinking. Three cups of 
wine because Lord knows I, I don't need to be all that. And if it needs anything in a little while, what I'll do is just add a cup of water. But now this is going to cook on low. Well, let me make sure. Oh, we got to add our salt. See, I always forget some. Now this calls for two and a half teaspoons of salt. Yeah, we got that chicken in there and it needs some flavor. That's probably more like a tablespoon and a half. I'm just stirring this in. And we're going to let this cook on about a medium low. Medium, I guess, not really a low. Because you want it to boil because you want your chicken to cook. But this will need to cook about two hours. Now, I am not a wine drinking person, so I'm not sure how this is going to taste right now. Ooh, you can sure taste that wine. Mmm. Now, what you could do, you could just add a little bit more water to this if you wanted to instead of adding the Saturn wine. But once that cooks down, it's going to be a whole lot better. I'm just going to kind of do like this. In case it starts bubbling, it won't bubble out everywhere. And that way some of the steam can come out because I want it to cook down a little bit. And then um, I'm probably not going to come back and film it in two hours. We'll see. But we will um, at least have some pictures posted at the end. Hi, welcome back to the counter. It's been about two and a half hours since we started our gumbo. And I have to say, I did not like the wine in there. But since it's cooked down, it does taste better. So it's not bad, actually, now. So I wanted to put everything together in front of you. So I just took this off the ice so it's still kind of boiling a little bit and the rice is hot so let's lower the camera down and let's make a little bowl so we can taste it together okay so y'all gonna have to forgive me um, I put my lights up and I just have this one little light so it's just putting off a little bit of light look at that steam so we have our gumbo we have our rice right here. Ooh, that's kind of warm. <laughs> that off. All right, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, now you can take, uh, if you want to be pretty, you could get you a cookie scoop or a big cookie scoop. Um, but I'm just serving this at home. I'm not gonna make it all that pretty. Got my jumbo cookie scoop. So we're gonna do this. I'd actually need a bigger one. Look at that. Well, so much for being really pretty. So do we take, I got a big kind of a serving spoon here. Now look at this, look at this. <gasps> look at that. Give me some juice. Give me a little bit more juice and put over that. Oh. Give me just a second here. Let me uh, move some of this out of the way so we can taste it. Right. 
had grabbed me a couple pictures before we bit into it. Look at that. Oh. Mm. I think I got too much. <laughs> but we're gonna try it. Look at that. Let me try to get a better picture. I'm sorry. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Mm -mm. So you got rice on the bottom. You could do white rice. You want wild rice? Do wild rice. That's great too. It's gonna be hot. Mm. I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna lie. I did not like that wine in there when I first tasted it. When we were first cooking it. Oh, it was horrible. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't like wine. I'm gonna tell you that. After I let this sit, cook down, I took that chicken out, deboned it, took all that meat off. It was just coming off the bone. That is some good stuff right there. I'll tell you, I got a little kick in the back, and let me let me get something. I'll show you. So what I did um, towards the end of cooking, I did a little taste, and it was. Um, missing something but i was like oh my god i got so much salt in there so what i did was is i put some tony chichiris i don't never say that right y'all i'm so sorry you know i i'm not perfect so but i put some of this in there and that's give it a little bit of a kick for people who don't eat pepper i don't even eat black pepper there's a little bit of a kick, but for regular folks who like hot stuff, this is not, they're not even going to taste that. But Oh, my God. It is so much better than I thought. Mm. Now, Justin Wilson says, to cook it today, cool it down, put it in the fridge, eat it tomorrow. He says, bring it to a boil for about an hour, like simmer it, and eat it. I'm gonna tell you something. If it's gonna be better tomorrow than what it is today, that's gonna be good. And you know something else I just thought of? That did andouille. That may be that little kick I'm tasting is that andouille. Mmm. It's not overbearing for me. Y'all know me enough if y'all been watching. If it's good, <laughs> I couldn't stop eating it. So I apologize. But that's how it is. Y'all gonna be eating this up. So, that was our taste test. You got to see the pot. I got it back on. I got it on a low simmer. Because my boyfriend's gonna, I know he's gonna want some for lunch. I know it. Y'all have a great day. Y'all don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these wonderful videos. And don't forget to go over to my other channel, Oxford Cookies and Cups. I'm starting a home bakery. So y'all have a great day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.